the Ludlow Handicap Chase is next, and it's a two and a quarter mile, and there's only four runners in this. Uh, considering they're two good 16 strong fields. Oh, uh, yeah, this has just got four in it. It's not a one ten. Look at that, ten pound makes all the difference. Kingdom at the top for Grand Clutterbuck. Highland Quest for Martin Leadham. Like a property, Darren Thompson, and Double Tour Fever for Derek Hinton. So Highland Quest, the only winner in the field. These fences take some jumping, and away they go. Just four of them. If they all get round, they all get some money. As they head to the first, and they're all safely over the first. With Highland Quest Kingdom, Double Tour Fever, and Liger Property virtually all in a line at this point. As they get to the second, and they're all over that safely with Kingdom. Interestingly, that one's failed to get round two or three times, so Grand Cross will be hoping. To do a little bit better this time. A shout out to the three viewers Derek Hinton, Darren Thompson, and Graham Clutterbuck. We all have a nice day. It's Highland Quest who's in the lead. And double tour fever for Derek Hinton on the inside. Nobody won his prize this week. And to get the Try casting the Mackerson and the Victoria Cup yesterday. I don't think anybody managed it. So Highland Quest is the leader. Right. Double Tour Fever in second. Kingdom is third. And Grand Clutter Wolfie will be now called that was top weight when it's fallen twice. But it is. And get over the fifth. And Highland Quest continuing to lead a short run to the sixth, which is a ditch. They all got over that one, okay. Highland Quest 2 to 3 lengths clear as they get into a plain one. Which they're all over safe and double tour fever just struggling a little bit towards the back as they come up the straight. They can take this water jump next time round, they'll go up that chute. That's that old fashioned rickety old stand there, look. Uh, past the winning post and that'll be it. We're at Ludlow. And Highland Quest is the leader. It's great that we go to all these. Different little tracks. Some of them we only managed to get to go to once or twice, but still one makes a change from being at Cheltenham every week. And Highland Quest is the leader. Well, a good four or five events to Kingdom in second. Like a property third, Double Tour Fever is fourth. And go into the final mile then now. With Highland Quest three then still a good. Oh, that one, they all go this time. Double Tour Fever was the one that jumped it the best. And has now jumped up alongside like a property. Over the 10th. A really good jump by the leader there. And as like a property hit it hard and has now dropped back to last. Over the next they go this time. They're all a little bit slower over it. Highland Quest is clearing the lead. On Kingdom second, like a property third, Double Tour Fever fourth. And they get to this next ditch and I think they're all. Seemingly been happy to give this Highland Quest an easy lead so far, but they're beginning to catch him now. I'll put him under a bit of pressure, and Jockey's asking him to quicken. There's still plenty of jumping to do, even though there's only four furlongs to go. And Highland Quest in the lead, but here they come, here come the pack. Double Tour Fever moves into second, like a property is in third, Kingdom's just been given a bit of a breather on that turn, I think. Although he's dropping right away now, the top weight. So whether there's anything to miss with that one, I don't know. He seems to be going okay a minute ago, but he's dropped right out of it. And it's Highland, and he's been pulled up, in fact. So they're coming down to the fourth last, and Highland Quest is now four or five clearing. And like a property, he's looking like the bigger danger in second as Double Tour Fever comes under pressure over this ditch. And Highland Quest attacked that and got away from it well. There's just three to take now, and Highland, or just two to take. This is the second last, and Highland Quest really attacked that fence again, and he's now eight lengths clear of like a property who's trying to close, but they're coming up to this, and actually they've gone the wrong way, and they've taken the water jump for the final fence, which they shouldn't have done, and Highland Quest is the winner, like a property second, double tour fever third, and technically speaking, I'm not going to speak, I'm not going to say anything here, because... <laughs> They've gone the wrong way. They should have gone the other way. They should have gone the other side of that fence. Um, which would technically, in real terms, make it a void race. But that would cost me a win. And I've already been diddled out of a win on the flat this week when I was on one horse race and they didn't give me the walkover. So 
I'm afraid I'm keeping that one. Highland Quest takes it. Oh, Marty Leadham, like a property second for Darren Thompson. Double tour fever for Derek Hinch in third. And he says that Kingdom unseated his rider. I don't think he did. I think he pulled up because he just virtually stopped. Anyway, there you go then. So I don't know what happened there because that shoot is there for them to go down. That's the whole purpose of it being there. So anyway, who cares?